Grover Stewart is a very underrated player for the Indianapolis Colts. He's not only just underappreciated by Colts fans, but by the entire NFL. You go through and you look at what he has done with this in his first few years in the NFL. He's actually been in the year. He's actually been in the NFL for quite a few years, and I'll tell you, the man has made a difference. Now it's been gradual since the start, but you go and you take a look at what he's done on tape. You know, you can't really go and look at stats. Can't really go and go by his sacks, his tackles, all that kind of stuff. You go watch the tape, and you see how much space is t- that that this dude takes up. You see how many double teams he requires, and when the other team wants to run the ball near him, you don't double team this guy, and you're gonna run the ball near him. He's gonna get you for a tackle for a loss, or you're not gonna get more than two or three yards. This kid is an elite run defender. Now, this is where he falls off a little bit. Passing. Pass rushing. That's where he struggles. He's very good at pushing the pocket, but he struggles to rush the passer at, a, at an efficient level. That is one of the re- main reasons why no one really, you know, he's a bit underappreciated. You go through, and as I said, you watch some film, you watch some tape, you see that this kid makes a huge difference. He helps open up in the run defense, you know, and going and trying to stop the run. He he opens things up for other guys, and, and when you're trying to defend the run, this kid is powerful. This kid is smart. This kid is one of the hardest workers on the team, and he has great character. That's why Chris Bowden extended him a few years ago. He definitely deserved it, 100%. Now, if the kid... Really got his pass rushing figured out. Oh my goodness, dude. Grover Stewart would be a force to be reckoned with. But that's an if. You know, that's part of the NFL. You know, could you do this? Could you do that? Could you do both? Could you do one? Which one could you do best? And he does a run defense the best. But he does push the pocket. And that's very important. Because when you push the pocket... You make the opposing quarterback uncomfortable. It makes it difficult for him to step up. So now, with the defensive line, edge rushers, this you know, just this defensive line in general is much more crowded in talent. It's gonna make it a lot easier for Grover Stewart. They're not gonna be able to focus on Buckner or Stewart, or they're not gonna be able to focus on anyone. I mean, yeah, Buckner may be the primary focus, but you can't double team all game. You can't double team Grove all game. Grove and Buckner are both amazing in the run stopping game. It's very difficult to run up the middle on this team. So, man, I'm telling you, you need to give Grover Stewart some more props. Some of us Colts fans, you know, not a lot of us give him enough recognition as he deserves. He deserves it. He freaking deserves it. He is, as I've already mentioned, he's a hard worker. He's smart and he's a fairly decent player. So, don't forget about Grover. He is very important to this team and getting a championship. He is very important. If you can't stop the run, what can you do? If you can't stop the run, you can't win a playoff game. If you can't stop the run, you can't win a game, period. So, he helps to stop the run big time. Who do you think helped stop the run in that year where the Colts didn't allow one 100-yard rusher? We had Jabal Sheard and we had Grover Stewart. Other than that, I don't remember who else was on that defensive line. But Grover Stewart makes a much bigger impact than you think. When you, you know, can't focus on double teaming him. He's going to push the pocket. He's going to make tackles for losses. Not going to get a ton of sacks. But the kid makes a huge difference on the field. Just because he doesn't stuff the stat sheet doesn't mean that he does not make a big impact. So, you guys let me know what you think about Grover Stewart being one of the most underappreciated players for the Indianapolis Colts. Maybe in the NFL, one of the more underappreciated players. So, you guys let me know what you think about that. Thank you for tuning in to the JDW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. Hope that you did enjoy this video, and if you did, make sure to like, subscribe, put the post notification bell on us for any future videos. That's all I got for you today. This is JDW.